So, um, yeah, his DMs are closed. Ladies, don't DM him. Um, <laughs> some time. Why did you feel like this was the right choice for you and Zane? Uh, so for Zane and I, I felt like maybe us going into this process with different couples would kind of help us um, get to the altar quicker. Um, I had a timeline uh, where I pictured myself getting, you know, married at 25, kids at 26, and I had just gotten my degree at the time. So I was like, cool, I'm figuring out my career. Now I just need to figure out my love life and everything will be perfect. And I think I just tried to cram that relationship into my timeline, which isn't fair. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, what was it about Jake that instantly attracted you to him? I can't even explain it. Um, from the first date with Jake, I knew that he was probably with like 90% certainty gonna be the guy that I moved in with. Mm -hmm. um, I've just never met somebody who was just so similar to me. We agreed on so many things and it was just so easy for me to talk to him that I couldn't see myself moving in with anybody else. Yeah, I mean, you know, during those three weeks, I mean, overall, like, I mean, what was that experience like? Like after those three weeks, was there ever a doubt in your mind that like, you know, maybe things wouldn't work out with Zane? Like, I mean, what was kind of your mindset going back into those three weeks with Zane? Yeah, so going back into um, my trial marriage with Zay, cause you know, you get the two trial marriages. Um, I wanted to take the openness that I experienced with Jake, like being able to share my feelings and just talk and laugh and like be more expressive the way that Zay wanted me to be. Yeah. I was hoping to maybe come back and show him. I learned how to express myself more. I learned how to communicate better. I wanted to bring that back to him. But unfortunately, when I moved back in, it was just all arguments. Mm -hmm. um, so I didn't get the chance to show him how I had grown as a person, which was sad. Yeah. Were you expecting that or were you expecting something completely different? No, I was not expecting that at all. I thought I was going to, I know it's kind of dumb in a way, but I was kind of thinking that we were going to get back together. And like, you know, mm -hmm. of course we had missed each other so much and um, we were going to be able to just, he was going to show me what he had learned with Shanique emotionally. And I was going to show him what I learned with Jake and that we were going to just ride off into the sunset and I was going to get my ultimatum answer and I was going to get my ring, but that's not what happened. Yeah. So, so after those three weeks with Jake, you thought that you were going to get back together with Zayn. Yeah, um, ultimately, I I really love spending my time with Jake, mm -hmm. but I was just kind of thinking, okay, I'm going to leave with the person that I came here with. That was everybody's intention. Sure. You know, everybody's intention was to just learn emotionally mm -hmm. and see what they were like with other people, but ultimately leave with the person that they came with. Yeah. Was, was there ever a point in those three weeks with Jake that you felt guilty for, you know, kind of falling for each other? Was that kind of in the back of your mind? Like, was there lines that were crossed that you were like, kind of, that you felt guilty about? Yeah, so with <laughs> with Jake and I, you know, we had a, a strict rule as far as physical things went. You know, you'll see me, I kissed him a lot. I was the one who initiated kissing with him, but we didn't take it past kissing. And that was really important to um, both of us and, yeah, sorry, what was the question? If you if you felt guilty for falling for him during oh, that time. Yeah, so mm -hmm. um, we definitely both felt guilty. So the whole time that you're going on these romantic dates and you're connecting and you're living with this person, living your day-to-day -day life with them, in the back of your mind is always the jealousy that you have mm -hmm. towards your original partner and what they're experiencing. And then just the guilt for, like sometimes I get really happy and I'd be like, oh, I'm so happy right now. I love hanging out with this guy. I can't wait to go home and cook dinner with him and watch a movie and do whatever. And then I was like, I should not feel like this. Yeah. Yeah. So on that final day, did you and Jake talk about meeting up on that final day after he broke up with April? So, or did you have no idea kind of what you were walking into? Yeah, I had no idea. Um, they just said that, you know, we need to close out the ultimatum. You guys need to all make your final decisions. So um, I just put on my dress. I got in the SUV. I rolled up and Jake was there to talk to me and I had no idea what he was going to say. Wow, that's great. So you were completely shocked. Did you think that he, he and April were gonna get back together? I did not think that him and April were gonna get back together, but I was I was shocked that him and I were there to have that conversation. And I, I was surprised by the trip offer, but um, I knew, you know, based on what I heard, you know, and I didn't really talk to him as much when he moved back in with April, just out of respect to the situation. But from what I had heard, you know, cause cast talks, just, I did not think that they were gonna walk out together mm -hmm. at all. Like I knew that that was not working. So where did you guys travel to? Tell me about this trip. <laughs> um. I didn't take the trip. Okay. After um, Jake offered me the trip, um, 
and you know everything wrapped up i asked him to go to lunch and we were grabbing food same day and i just told him like it's just it's a lot um and you know of course he still had feelings for april and i still had feelings for zay and i felt like even though it's just a reality show to everybody it was real for us it was a lot it was very draining so i i didn't think it would be the best thing to be like bye zay bye april and we're hopping on a plane and just going to you know wherever i just i didn't feel like it was the right time so what's the status of your relationship now? Um, Jake and I are definitely good. You know, of course we're on speaking terms. Everybody from the show is still pretty much cool with each other. Mm -hmm. A few exceptions here and there. Um, you know, Jake is just a total gem. Like he's a gentleman. I think that he absolutely deserves the world. Um, I think him and I both just need a little bit of time to heal, especially with the show now coming out, it's reopening a lot of old emotions. So um, yeah, his DMs are closed, ladies, don't DM him. Uh, <laughs> we need some time, that, that's, that's where we're at. I, I care for him a lot and I just wanna see him be happy. So not in a romantic relationship, but not closing the door. Exactly, that's yeah. exactly where I'm at with Jake, exactly. Okay. So you guys still talk often, still hang out a lot? Yeah, we still talk. Um, you know, we've all hung out. I think the people that I've hung out with the most since filming wrapped is actually Shanique and Randall. I spend a lot of time with them. Yeah. I mean, was it hard for you to watch Zay and Shanique? Absolutely. So that was really <laughs> one of my worst things to watch. Uh, two things about their connection. One was obviously the physical side, which I'll talk about in a second. And then the other thing was seeing the way that Zay spoke to her during their arguments i didn't like how loud and dismissive he was and watching her i saw myself also when i would argue with him and like you kind of see me being more shut down but she was more verbal and like mm -hmm. going at him and i was like it was really hard for me to see their arguments and then the other thing too was like seeing the physical side of their connection you know they went further than jake and i did mm -hmm. and um it was hard you know me seeing that knowing how much i liked jake i didn't take it there so seeing their physical and you know they didn't have sex but you know their the physicality of their connection play out under the covers whatever it was um it was really you know hard for me to watch that um they did not give me a heads up so i was not aware that i was going to be seeing that yeah. um but shanique was there for me she was extremely supportive she was extremely respectful. You know, she had actually given Randall a heads up and ultimately it was Zay's responsibility to give me a heads up for that. Yeah. Did you give him a heads up that you and Jake got back together or no? Yeah. So um, I told him that Jake had offered me a trip mm -hmm. and that I was not going to be, you know, going on the trip. And I, I gave Zay a heads up what he would be seeing in the in the last episode just so that he would know and i asked him if he needed to share anything with me about like him filming his last episode like i didn't know if him and shanika talked or what had gone on he was like nope i've already told you everything so i was like okay great and that was it do you have any sort of relationship with him anymore absolutely not um he is blocked on everything i think that he should have you know given me more of a heads up yeah so yeah, no, we're not speaking. Not speaking at all. Did he try to reach out to you or at all or no? No, no apology, no. no reaching out. No, I'm sorry that you had to see it this way. Absolutely nothing remorseful um, coming from him. We have not spoken. Did it make you, did it make you feel better about your decision then that you made? Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Knowing that he came back to me and was like, I want to get married. And then he stayed out all night and didn't come home. And he had done more with Shanique than what he told me. Mm -hmm. I realized I made the absolute right decision. And I, I don't regret any of the decisions I made regarding that. Definitely. So are you going back to Jake a little bit? Are you guys like, yeah. are you dating now? Are you guys like going out on dates? I mean, I'm sure you probably have to be like on lockdown of everything that's going of on. Of course. Right not like ruin everything, but yeah. Um, but it has like, what's, have you been like dating in disguise? Like how does that work? <laughs> yeah. So, um, currently I don't think that we can really, you know, go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, a few weeks ago, him and I did grab dinner and like catch up and everything after you know we filmed the reunion and he's just an amazing guy and it was really great to have dinner with him and um you know the whole cast is throwing a launch party after the reunion airs at a club so hopefully i'll be next to jake in the section i don't know maybe we could dance together or something. definitely Are, were you Catch shocked about were you shocked about colby and madeline not only engaged married but baby yeah i was I, well i was really excited for them i actually um i went to their baby shower so um i was very excited for them i love seeing her glowing um 
just seeing them like their love is very genuine and I'm happy that they're able that they were able to overcome everything that happened on the show and take that next step like they've also matured and grown both of them so much as people so I'm, I'm very happy for them definitely and I know I got to wrap up but any regrets my one regret would be when I um when Zay and I got into the physical fight us like kind of putting our hands on each other and then me you know punching him obviously like I didn't leave a mark you know I didn't hit him in the face or anything like that I swung on his shoulder but Nobody should ever put their hands on someone else, no matter how upset they are. And I regret doing that. Definitely. And then any other big bombshells from the reunion that left your jaw on the floor? Um, I, without saying too much, just there was two, you know, really big fights and then just checking in with everybody and seeing where they're at and then getting a lot of questions answered that I think were really important. I think it's a, a very, um, what's a word I could use? A very spicy reunion. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Just... And would you ever do it again? The, the ultimatum or just yeah. issuing stuff? Just the I would ultimatum. Yeah, the ultimatum. Oh, I would never go on. If I fall in love with somebody else and they're like, maybe we should get married, I would not drag them through that process again. I learned my lesson. I love being monogamous. I don't like sharing my partner. Mm -hmm. And I also don't think that ultimatums are helpful to anyone. So I'm just, I'm good. I learned my lesson. 